what our goals. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Casey Leoma. And here on this channel, we talk about writing related topics and my two hobbies, which are planning and purses. I have a unboxing of a purse coming up as soon as I get it in the mail. It's supposed to be here today. And I'm really excited to get it and open it and show it to you guys. So if you are interested in purses, then definitely be on the lookout for that video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here in my community. I can't wait to grow my community and have discussions with you guys on writing, on planning, uh, on purses. I would love to know what kind of purses that you like what style of planning you do and how your writing is going. So today we are going to talk about goals. I want to discuss how I did in February and whether or not I'm still on track for my first quarter goals. To refresh my memory on the goals I set, by February, I was supposed to lose nine pounds and really enforce my evening routine into a habit. Those two were for my healthy me goal. And in writing, I wanted to replot or and replot, re-outline my Ember Storm book one. I wanted to read Save the Cat again and add 5,000 words to my manuscript for book one. And then on the social media front, I wanted to produce eight videos in February. Those were my three goals. So I want to know, did you guys achieve your goals for February? Let me know down in the comments. You're probably wondering if I accomplished my goals for February and yes and no. For Healthy Me goal, I did not make evening routine a habit. I was sick for like almost a week with a migraine at the very beginning of February and I was basically playing catch up the rest of February and I did not, I did not do evening routine. It just didn't happen. I, it's not, it's not ingrained in me to automatically do that. To set aside time to journal, I only journaled in February when I needed to write something down and get it off my chest or think through a problem that I was having. I did not do it every night and for like two weeks I didn't do it at all. I had my journaling notebook. I literally had like five pages left in that book and it lasted me in the whole of February. I had already bought a new journaling book and I was going to start it in February and then I didn't journal that much. So I was able to use all five pages in the old journaling and I started a new, a fresh journal on March 1st. Now about the pounds. So in January, if you recall, I lost three pounds, which was great. But in February, I gained all three pounds back. So I'm back to my starting weight for March 1st. So that has, so I just netted out the first two months of the year. And I started something this week as like a prize reward for cutting out soda because I drink a lot of soda and I love soda so much. I drink it at a very, very young age. My mom let me drink it. Our entire household went through soda a ton growing up. It wasn't something that she worried about for my health. I didn't really worry about it either until well honestly if I could still drink soda and not have all the sugar 
that comes with it, I would totally do it because I love, there's just something about that fizz and my favorite soda is Mr. Pibb. And there are several places in town that I can get it, which is very rare. There's a, Mr. Pibb is not everywhere or Pib Extra, I think is what it's called now. They like changed the name, but I still call it Mr. Pib. So I'm actually going to get, get one today. Oh, I, I need to not get one today. Self-control, I do not have self-control when it comes to soda. And I honestly think that's just because I've had it forever. I've always drank soda growing up. It wasn't a big deal. But with my PCOS, I need to stop eating and drinking sugar or added sugar I need to stop doing that and cutting soda out of my life is like the easiest thing that I can do to help with my PCOS symptoms and help lose weight but it's so hard it is really hard and I've got to work through that I think it's like a psychological thing and I need to work through that so moving on to my let's see writing I did not replot or re-outline or read save the cat last month I just jumped ahead and went on adding the changes to my manuscript instead of starting with outline I did look at the current outline because in January I made scene cards with every scene because they're called scene cards I made summaries for each scene and then I put that into K.M. Weiland's Structuring Your Novel, um, her plot structure. I put that in that format and then in February I did look at that and I think I have all the key points. I just need to expand on some of them which I've noted in like my changes and so I've been working through adding all the changes from when I did my read read and wrote notes and I have five five chapters left and my goal is to finish that this first week of March so that I can work on my passive voice in my word choice sentences so that it's ready in April to send to alpha readers that that is the goal. I really think I can do five chapters this weekend. Um, today is Thursday that I'm filming this. You'll see this video on Friday and Friday night I plan to just close myself off and get the chapters done. That's the goal. Hopefully the last couple of Fridays I haven't really worked but I've done, I have worked on Saturday. I just plan to film and we're painting our house on Saturday. So I don't think I'll have time to actually work on my manuscript on Saturday if I'm filming and I'm painting. I did add 5,000 words to my manuscript in February. I got most of those words the first week in February right before my migraine hit. And then on the 28th, I it was like 10 p.m. and I'm like, how close I am? How close am I to 5,000 words? And I was only like 600 words, so I needed to write a scene anyway. So I went ahead and wrote that scene and added added the words necessary to get to 5,000 words. So I'm very happy that I was able to get my goal of 5K for February. My manuscript is definitely looking up. I have a few more scenes that I need to add. And just a side note that if you are thinking about your story and you think of something that you need to change or add, write it down because last weekend when I was going through that scene and I was thinking about it I was like oh I need to add this and this and this and I did not write it down and I have no idea what I was thinking no idea at all with what I was talking about or what I wanted to add I remembered one part so I did that yesterday and I worked on a chapter yesterday, but I cannot, for the life of me, remember what the other things were. So hopefully when I, maybe when I get to that section in my manuscript, I will remember. I don't know. Writing was okay. Like I did cut out Save the Cat and replotting and stuff, but I don't feel like, like I missed a step. 
when I wrote out my revision steps that I wanted to take, I based those revision steps on other people's other people's steps, other people's ways of revising their own novel and the things that work for them. And I don't know if the steps are necessarily necessary for me at this point. I think the further along I get in this revising stage and then the next book that I revise may be different and I may have to do it differently, but I think in a couple years I will definitely know how I like to revise and what works for me and what isn't working. So I think I'm okay with how far we went for my writing anyway. I am sad that I gained three pounds. So my last goal area is social media and I was able to produce seven videos for YouTube which is not my eight that I wanted but there was a vlog that was supposed to go up on the week that I had a migraine and I just I couldn't I couldn't spend I, I needed to like film the ending part of the vlog and then edit it and then put, get it up and I just my head hurt too much I could barely watch TV I couldn't read anything I didn't work for two days I needed to rest and that is exactly what I did and I didn't put that video up and honestly I'm not that sad about it so I felt like my resting was better for me than trying to get a vlog up I think I did what I needed to do for that this month as far as social media didn't goes I didn't put any other metrics to measure in February um, I didn't gain any followings in February either on YouTube or on Instagram which are the two social media platforms that I'm trying to grow this quarter which is fine I mean some months you know you're gonna grow a lot and some months you're not so I'm totally fine with that I was consistent with my YouTube except for the one video that I missed but I'm still happy with where I'm at with social media to round up my thoughts on February overall I am happy with what I got accomplished I am a little bit behind in my writing because I was hoping to get all the changes and stuff added before the end of February, but having this extra week in March to do those changes is not, it's not that bad. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with all three of my goals. I definitely have learned with healthy me that depriving myself of something that I really want, really love is not is not the way to go and I definitely need to rethink how I am going to lose the weight that I want to lose this year and February reminds me of this quote from Sarah Marshall she is a podcaster and I heard this quote from Cindy she's a planner planner nerd so and the quote is you can be a hot mess express and still leave the world better off and I just I love that because I'm a hot mess I <laughs> my days are crazy my weeks are crazy my months are crazy my family's crazy I'm crazy so I am beyond happy to hear that you can be crazy and still leave the world better off that is definitely it for me today if you're not already subscribed to my channel again i would love to have you here in this community if you achieved your goals for february i would love to hear about it please put them in the comments below i would love to cheer you on toward your end goal and if you liked this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great weekend and i will catch you later Bye.